Back here with the scores, Mark Grody and Bears insider Josh Schrock. And so I think Sean Payton going to Denver gives Russell Wilson a chance to revive his career. Is that overly optimistic? It's not overly optimistic. I think if anyone can save Russell Wilson's career, it's got to be Sean Payton, right? That's why you have to give up those draft picks because they don't have any other options. The Broncos have Russell Wilson. They have to figure out how to fix him. He can help Ru Russell Wilson more than Russell Wilson can help Sean Payton. No, I don't know. I don't know if Sean Payton still has that magic. I mean, we've seen it before with coaches in their second go around that even with resources, they don't do particularly well. I don't like this. I don't, I don't see this working. How can you not like this? He won with uh, Drew Brees. This is his Drew Brees. Yeah, Just and, later and, as, in his and, and as soon as things started to decrescendo with Drew Brees, Sean Payton suddenly was out of powers as well. I, I just don't believe in Russell Wilson maybe the way you guys believe in Russell Wilson. Down That's, in Houston, D'Amico yeah. Ryan's Alabama guy, Texans former player. That makes it, does it make it more likely to think maybe Bryce Young would be the object of the Texans' desire because Alabama, Alabama, or is that overthinking it? I think that's overthinking it. I think D'Amico Ryan's is such a smart, defensive-minded head coach. Could you see them drafting two position players and then doing what the Lions do and just wait to quarterback later? No. <laughs> Who's going to play quarterback for him? Davis, Davis Mills? Mills? Oh, hey, I don't come know. On, come on, man. Derek Carr, maybe. It, maybe Derek Carr. Mika Ryans, he understands the power of good quarterbacking. So I think that he would be, I mean, we, we know what's in his blood, but we also know how coaches survive. The power and of Bama. The power of Bama, the power of quarterbacks. All, yes. All right, let's talk quarterbacks for tonight's best bet, powered by points best specifically. Where they may play next, the favorite landing spot for Tom Brady, the Las Vegas Raiders. Derek Carr was the guy there. Then he was benched at the end of the season. Points bet has the Jets as a favorite. For his services, the Jets also leading the pack for Lamar Jackson. If he were to leave Baltimore and not get tagged with the franchise tag, then there is Aaron Rodgers, football diva extraordinaire. Divorce between him and the Packers seems imminent, more and more possible by the day. Though he did say today on the Pat McAfee show that conversations seem to be happening without him. He can't like that. These four quarterbacks could determine everything that happens between now and draft day. So let's play a game of quarterback dominoes, how it might affect the Bears because the Bears are that number one overall selection. Yes, every decision made by quarterbacks, whatever teams they go to, could potentially affect who needs a quarterback. So, first scenario, Aaron Rodgers goes to the Jets. Derek Carr goes to the Colts. The Texans are left needing that number one pick. Maybe Bryce Young and most likely the team to trade with the Bears. Do you think that's likely or not? I think the first part of that's likely. I think Rodgers to the Jets makes a lot of sense. I don't think the Colts want a veteran retread. I do think they want to go rookie and start building the right way. I think Derek Carr is more headed toward maybe Washington or Carolina. I think Chris Ballard has learned the hard way that when you go to a veteran retread, you're going to pay the price because Matt Ryan, Carson Wentz, Phillip Rivers, who was the best one that they got, that franchise has not been the same since mm -hmm. since. Let's face it, Andrew Luck retired. But absolutely. And, and philosophically, I actually liked what the Colts were thinking. You know, they thought that they had a, a nice roster that was a competent quarterback away, and it hasn't worked. So I do think, I don't know that they're going to want Derek Carr. Like, the way they were talking earlier this year, the way the owner, the way Jim Ursay was talking, that they, oh, it wasn't Ursay, it was the GM, talking about how they, they will do anything to get their quarter. Are they talking about Derek Carr when he says that? that that's not the guy you do anything for. All right, second yeah. scenario, dominoes. Aaron Rodgers goes to the Dolphins. <laughs> Derek Carr goes to the Jets. The New York media would love that. Colts and Texans get in a bidding war for the number one pick with the Bears. That's what you want in auction for that number one overall pick. What do you think? I don't, I'm not sure I buy Rodgers. Why are the Dolphins in the market? Are we just thinking Tua can't play? I think, I think they like Tua. I, I Tua's mean, concussed. Yeah, well, Even okay. though you may like what he has, a, it brings as a quarterback, how do you trust his durability? I just don't think they're ready to make that move. They said they're committed to him. They're, they got in trouble for tampering with Tom Brady. Why wouldn't they like Aaron Rodgers? <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, I, I love the idea, too, of teams, like, more than one team fighting over that top pick for the Bears where Ryan Poles Ryan can needs it. just kind yeah. of sit back in his recliner and just, uh, you know, take the calls yeah. and the answers to it. So I think that's, that's an ideal scenario. I don't know if it's a realistic that's one. A, that's a dream. Pro Bowl yeah. quarterback Derek Carr to you. No, yeah, pro, you <laughs> really like Derek Carr. I do like Derek Carr. He made the Pro Bowl. Well, why don't the Raiders want him? Well, that, that's the question I'm trying to figure. It's a long, because messy relationship. Sucks? They yeah. had a messy divorce. All yeah. right, third scenario with this game of dominoes. Lamar Jackson goes to the Jets. 
Tom Brady to the Dolphins. They get their money's worth. Derek Carr, our guy, my guy, goes to the Texans where his brother played. Aaron Rodgers goes to Indianapolis. The Bears keep the number one pick and draft a defensive player. Oh, my God. This game oh, is hard, by the is, way. I like is, your games, Dave. Is, Don't get yeah, me wrong. Right. Game, game, game is getting game master. This yeah. is Isn't this still a yeah. possibility that they could draft a player and keep the pick? Remote? I mean, it's, it's remote. I think in this scenario, the more likely thing is they pick up the phone, they call the Raiders, and they get a lot. They get two first-round picks, an extra second, move down to seven, and go the 49ers way instead of maybe risking it all on Jalen Carter because if he's not the guy, then you're in trouble. I'm confused. What what was the the initial premise? Now the Bears take the the Bears keep one the pick, pick because everybody draw, else yeah. has filled their everybody their chair. So the Bears, except the Raiders. So the Bears the music has stopped. Okay. Brody. So the Bears take use the number one overall on pick. a defensive player. On a, oh, a defensive player. You don't think that they would take Bryce Young? You don't think they would take a quarterback with a number one overall? Oh, oh my God! Don't that's do this again. Entirely another show. <laughs> don't do this again. <laughs> Come on, Grody. That, no. They oh, that's another that. show. When's that? Tomorrow. We're going to take Will Levis. Um, Mayo in the coffee. It's a no-go. I feel like if he's, the Bears he's, keep he's the a roll of the dice. Picks, they're yeah. not going to draft the quarterback. Uh, the, that would be probably insane. Not. Probably after not. all the faith invested in Justin Fields. Yeah, I, I would. I, I think I'm more. I, it sounds like like if you listen to Ryan Poles, they would take the defense. They would take Will Anderson. It sounds like just the way Ryan Poles is talking. But I'm, I'm more of a Jalen Thanks Carter. Thanks for playing dominoes. Three tech. That, hey Dave, you know I've always loved Thanks. your your reindeer games are wonderful. <laughs> I love them. I love them. Every time we come in here, you got games. Thank you, Mark Grody yeah. from the yeah. Score, Josh Rock, the inside for NBC Sports Chicago when we come back. 